In this video, we will learn about index function in Power Query and the practical use of index in the real life project. So it is very important video and please watch till end and you will learn a lot of useful tips and tricks. So here I, I took one data set from the COVID cases. So here you can see there are we have uh, countries and there are different countries and uh, then we have a date column uh, death confirmed and uh, recovered cases and we are interested in confirmed cases so let's do it step by step so the structure of this data set is we are having confirmed cases uh, so we have a running total of all the confirmed cases right in this data set we don't have any information on day level so first of all we are interested in the confirmed column confirmed column date column and the country column right so then we can just remove the other columns and because uh, it's very big uh, the, the size of uh, this file is very big so we don't need to render everything so in this data set we are only interested in for example us we just need to filter us and here we have all the data that belong to us so here you can see on the 22nd of january we have one case then 23rd we have again one for example if you look here 3rd of march we have 118 uh, cases so what are the actual cases on 3rd of march it will be 118 minus 98 right so we need to access the value from the previous row so for example if you look here 98 the record is is a 41 row and the index is is 440 right because the indexing start from the zeroth or from the zeroth position so how we can access uh, this value this record it's very simple we just need to click here fx and uh, then we have to write in the curly bracket 40 right hit enter and here you can see we we got this record us um, then date is this one the, the confirmed the number of cases are 98 but we are only interested in confirmed cases so what we have to write here the name of the column is a confirmed this one so now we got 98 so if i copy the whole syntax here copy and uh, then i just need to delete custom and we need another column so that uh, we can display value in, in a separate column so what we will do we need to add column custom column and uh, you can write any name here and here we need to paste right so let's click ok and here you can see the 98 is being repeated with every row but what we need the same value as we can see in the confirmed column we should get the same value in the custom column so we need something like incremental operator here just like we do in the if you know some other programming languages the for loop or the while loop and like in in for loop there is like i is equal to zero i is less than 10 and i plus plus and, and then we put the incremental operator here so we, we need some kind of incremental operator here so what we will do here we just need to delete add column because we don't need to repeat the same value with every row 
so we will delete it and uh, there is one function like index column so we can apply this index column from uh, like from 0 to onward with the incremental one here you can see it is a uh, 0 uh, let me show you in the if you click um, in the setting so here you can see the starting index is 0 and the increment is 1 so we are getting uh, with every increment uh, for example if we need increment 1 or 2 or 3 then it will show values accordingly for example if I say okay we need only increment of 2 we will get 0 to 4 6 and so on but we are interested only in increment 1 right okay so we have uh, so incremental operator here and uh, now try to get the same uh, so now we need to add one more column custom column for example and we can again copy and paste the same uh, expression that we had copied so this is the name of the previous step and then the curly bracket that uh, which record we want to get and from which column right so you know this uh, this whole syntax if you don't know you can watch my previous video about records so here we need to uh, instead of 40 we need to get this value dynamically so i need to access one field here so which field i need to access this one this index field so how we can get the field from the from the table so it's a square bracket and you can see index and uh, it will start from 0 here you can see 0 1 2 3 4 so first of all it will go for, for the 0 and we will get the record from the 0th position then 1 then 2 and 3 so because everything that we write here under custom column this expression repeated with every row right so we need to click OK. So here you can see we are getting exactly the same uh, records as, as we can see from the confirmed column, right? So this is like uh, if you see here 118, we are getting 118. So we are interested in the previous value, right? If I say OK uh, in the custom column, instead of getting value from the zeroth index if i write here for example let me zoom it if i write here index minus 0 then 0 my uh, sorry 0 minus 1 it will be minus 1 and we will get nothing right so and then it will go for the like for the fifth for example then the fifth minus 1 the four so we will always get the value from the previous row right so we just need to uh, confirm so here you can see now we are getting uh, for example uh, 60 in front of 60 we are getting 58 the previous row then again 74 and then in, in front of 74 we are getting 68 let me zoom it and you can see better for example 98 and what is the previous value 74 and here you can see previous value is 74 so we got one issue here this is one error because uh, there is no value available on the index minus one so what we can do here we you have seen my my video about error handling so we can uh, use here try if you don't know about this thing you can maybe watch my video and you can see different ways of uh, error handling uh, try and if it is error otherwise then I will display here null or I can write here for example 0 0 and uh, confirm 
so we can uh, rename this uh, column like uh, previous previous cases and uh, if I add one more column custom column and here I can write daily cases and I can subtract confirmed minus previous cases that's all okay okay so here you can see uh, on this state we are having only one case and uh, just a minute let me put it here okay so here you can see we have previous cases and daily cases and uh, on the 23rd of January we have uh, again one cases so there is no change and uh, we are getting zero because there is there was no new case on 23rd of January right and then again uh, on 24th of January we have two cases because it's a running total and 2 minus 1 1 so we are having one case in the same way uh, you can watch here like uh, in the first of March we are having 74 and 74 minus 68 on this date we have total cases 6 74 minus 68 it will be 6 so this is um, so in this video you have seen with the help of uh, index column we can easily get the value from the previous row. So if you have any question, please write in the comment section. And if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.